Well, this is a modern car. It has four wheels. It goes by itself. It goes real fast. What about an ancient car? Today we are at a Shang Dynasty grave site from about 3,500 years ago and we discovered six chariots here. In modern Chinese we have the character for car and if you look at it, it doesn't look like much of anything. Uh, but if you look, if you compare it with the traditional character, you can see how it changed. The traditional character looks kind of like a car with maybe four wheels. But if we look at the more ancient character, we can find, we see that it's, it's not really four wheels, it's two wheels, and it's drawn by two horses or two cows. Today we have Mr. Nyo. Mr. Nyo works here. He's an expert on these chariots, and he's going to tell us more about their structure. Mr. Nyo. Nice to meet you, Uncle Hans. I'm very happy to introduce the history for you. Yeah, first, let's know about the structure of the chart of Shang Dynasty. Okay. This way, please. Okay. This is an imitation of the chart of Shang Dynasty. Hmm. The front, this is the Kuruba. Mm -hmm. There are two yokes on the neck of two horses. Mm -hmm. The middle is the shaft. Mm -hmm. The back is the coach. And there are two wheels. This is the animal skin, like the tire. Oh. And the wheels and the coach are very big, so for three people. And the horses look like they would be very uncomfortable. The driver is uh, sitting in the middle. A left part is higher position, right part is lower position. Three people sitting inside. China is one of the ancient countries to invent and use charity in the world. Said that in Xia Dynasty, Xi Zhong was first invented the chariot. But until now, archaeologists haven't discovered the chariot from Xia Dynasty. The earliest chariot was discovered is from Yinxu, Anyang. This six uh, chariot horses piece was discovered at Xiaomingtun, the Liu Jiazhuang village, and they have been removed here. In Shang Dynasty, the Shang kings and the noblemen take this kind of chariot during their lifetime. After their death, they buried this chariot nearby the ancient tombs. Mm. They killed two horses in front and a bear one's leaf at the back. And his feet were cut. Oh, why were his feet cut? He probably was a captive from the war. Oh, okay. So he wouldn't run away. From uh, 1935 until now, over 100 pieces of shelter horses have been discovered here. They are 1,000 years earlier than the chair discovered from Qin Shi Huang Emperor tomb. Oh, yeah, about a thousand years earlier. So that's sort of like being buried in your car. Have you been to the terracotta areas in Xi'an? Uh, yes. And the terracotta areas, that is a pottery figure. That chair is made of bronze. That is bronze chair. Oh, yeah, chair. that's much later, about a thousand years later. So this is made of wood. Made of wood, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's wood mixed with the earth. This is a chariot we just saw. Riding such a chariot would definitely be a bumpy ride. With the sedan chair, humans became animal power. The sedan chair also reflects the strict social hierarchy of old China. The English word rickshaw originates from jin riksha, the Japanese pronunciation of renli chu. Renli chu means human-powered cart. In China, they had Hongbaochi, yellow-covered cars, which translate as yellow cab, to differentiate them from private cars. In the 80s, if you had a Phoenix bicycle, you were probably quite well off. At that time, a bicycle might transport a whole family of three, one on the beam and one on the back. A 2.8 brand bicycle was one of the best betrothal gifts in China at the time. Later, motorcycles appeared. Old-fashioned motorcycles were a trend 
and a symbol of liberation in the 90s and early 21st century. With the development of China's economy and the process of urbanization, China now has its own domestic brands of cars. Jiefeng and Hongqi are examples. In 2020, about one in four Chinese adults owns a car. But with the advent of taxi apps and massive urbanization and public transportation, the need for a car is much less than in other countries. Also, there is no place to park a car. With the advent of personal cars, traffic jams and pollution have become a problem. Shared vehicles have emerged, and people have begun to attach importance to environmental protection and advocate environmentally friendly travel. Nowadays, with the continuous development of science and technology, artificial intelligence, and driverless cars, new energy vehicles have begun to appear. Wonder what will the future of cars be like?